But I uh, built a Raspberry Pi uh, all-in-one using a pencil case that I got at Walmart. Pencil case. And this is the original, uh, just released, 7-inch um, touchscreen. The official Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen. And I, that's a lot eagerly awaited. Touchscreen, 7-inch Raspberry Pi. And um, so I mounted it inside the case. As you can see, there's a hole cut. Cut a small rectangular hole in it, and it's made of uh, hard, like cardboard. It's like a thick cardboard, and these are the four screws that hold it together. And then it just it just locks up together. Cut a little hole for the power to go in if I need an external power supply, or I could power it with a you know power pack internally. Okay, here's another one I got another pencil case. Again, that's what it looks like originally. What I did just took a piece of paper and I cut it in half. Okay. I just took a piece of paper, cut it in half, and then when I had the bare screen there. Even with the pie on, completely with the pie on, and then and put the piece of paper on, over it, and I measure a hole, figure the hole is like a certain size, and I just overlay it there. So I actually put one piece at a time, and then I just basically just drill, yeah, right over it. what the basic size it is and then on the other side since it actually matches I can just, just put it together cut it and then I taped it together until it looks like this So I just taped it together and it was this. Okay. So then I was able to put it inside underneath that, underneath the pie and I measure, I measure the outline of the display, the seven inch display. And just drew it, I just put the, this, in there, and then that, and then I, when I had the bare screen, I just drew over the screen so that it's uh, you know, so it's the same as the outline of the screen. Once I had that, once I had that, I figured the top, you know, it's going to be like this, so the top is that way. So we got the top there. And I would have to actually flip it around because I had, had, it, had the screen, you know. And the screen down, facing down. So, um, 
put it this way and then flip it over. It's my son's drawing. So I just recycle what my you know paper that my son wastes a lot of time drawing all kinds of stuff. Um, so I just tape that, put tape. I think I measure the corners. It actually matches the little uh, bolts here, the little, whatever, these little bolt things. Here. So each corner actually matches that. So I just overlaid it and then did that. And then I took a pen and I just drew a square here, a rectangle, a rectangle here. And then all I needed was a box cutter. Which is, uh, you know, this boss cutter. And um, just cut a hole and then uh, cut the uh, drill four holes here. And so that's how I had this uh, sort of frame here. And then it was e able to easily mount the screen. Yeah. And so I could either power it with a cable outside, like uh, you know, I take a power cable and just put it through a little hole that I made here, a little square. And here's the power connected from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the display is powered by the little pins here, which you can find on the uh, yeah, in another video. Or oh, the Raspberry Pi page. Um, so I got a little, this power supply here. Just gonna plug it in. And I just flip it over. Button and it powers it. Powers it up. <laughs> Here's my little uh, recipe pie. There you go. Here's my little pie here. It works. If I drag it, either it becomes a square or you get this little strange little icon here. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice little touch screen display. Supposed to be ten finger uh, touch, but so far it's only responding to one one finger. Yeah. No, it's not responding to two fingers. So it's a nice little keyboard I discovered. Or the cell writer, C E L L cell writer. There's several keyboards, but this one so far works. And that actually just gives you a little icon on top that I have to tap again on the one. Okay, and then I gotta do that. I don't know, it's a little annoying, you gotta tap it several times. But it works.
Okay. Yeah, some kinks, but anyway, works. A little, little bulky, but it works. That's my. Is it so? Is it a tablet or is it a portable computer? Cat. Alright, thanks for watching.